Welcome into my recap of the Washington versus Texas series. This series was kind of crazy. I mean, Washington comes in having not won a weekend series all year. Uh, they're below 500 as a team, uh, really reeling, trying to figure it out. Coach Kelly and his team has just uh, hadn't been able to put it all together this season. You know, and Texas comes in as a uh, as ranked opponent. Uh, anywhere between you know between 25 and 15, depending on the poll you're looking at. But you know this is a highly thought of Texas team with a deep lineup. I mean Jalen Flores, Porter Brown, Peyton Powell. Those guys have really uh, played well for Texas uh, to start the year. And uh, you know you had LeBaron Johnson, who is a true ace um, and a dominant pitcher. But uh, you know the rest of the pitching staff behind him is not really kept up there into the bargain. So, you know, it was going to be interesting to see how this series played out and the way it played out, man, was pretty, uh, you know, was pretty interesting Friday. Uh, you know, Texas comes out and LeBaron is LeBaron Johnson. You know, he, uh, he's pounding the strike zone. <clears throat> he's up to 97 on the fastball and, uh, is really impressive, but Washington is really able to, to grind out at bats to really, uh, you know, link lengthen their at bats and drive up the pitch count, um, and you know, LeBaron ends up going uh, six innings, but throws 107 pitches in those six innings. So a lot of pitches, uh, three walks, ten punchouts, uh, and only gives up one earned run. But the problem is, you know, at least for Texas, that you know, Washington starter. He only throws three and two thirds, but that was pretty much by design. He gives up three earned runs, uh, with three walks, and only three strikeouts. But Washington really used their their pitching staff kind of how they have all year. You know, they start off with Ingman. Uh, he goes three and two thirds, and they bring in Cunningham, who come, comes in and finishes the game out. Uh, so only using two pitchers. They only give up the three earned runs. Cunningham doesn't give up a single earned run. Only has two punch outs, but only one walk. Uh, is really efficient uh, through those five and a third innings. And then to relieve uh, LeBaron, David Shaw comes. He's the first one out of the pen, and, man, he struggled. You know, he gives up uh, one hit, one walk, but two earned runs. Uh, and then uh, Gage Bain comes in uh, with runners on base to try and, uh, you know, try and salvage a situation that, David Shaw left for him, and he ends up giving up the lead. Uh, he ends up giving up three earned runs, uh, five hits, uh, and you know really struggles. And that's that's you know when um, Washington really takes control of that of this game there in the in the top of the seventh inning. Um, you know Ibarra has a big day. Jeter Ibarra. I mean that's. That's Washington's guy, right? He's hitting the three hole for a reason, and he has a has a big day. Finishes uh, with a five for five day with four RBI, two runs scored, doesn't strike out. I mean, he just he was everything for them. And um, you know, AJ Guero, he he has a big day as well. Going uh, well, he was one for four, but it gets a big RBI uh, in there. And he's uh, you know the, the whole Washington lineup really. Um, performed well and you know they were able to take advantage of you know the kind of that shaky Texas bullpen that we've been talking about you know all year uh Easton Tumis comes in after uh Gage Bame and kind of settles things in finishes out the game uh but you know so Texas gives up a six spot there in the top of the seventh inning and you know that's kind of all she wrote uh for the Longhorns um I mean, Washington is able to scratch a couple more runs in the top of the ninth uh, to give you the final score nine to three, and the Texas bats are just not able to do anything, you know. Uh, so I talked to Coach Kelly after the game, and we talked about how both of the pitchers, Cunningham and Ingman, were really able to mix their pitches well, keep the hitters off balance, and you could really see that by, you know, kind of their pitch counts, uh, you know, rating relatively low. Ingman ends up with about, uh, you know, with 72 pitches and three and two thirds, but Cunningham with a very efficient 80 pitches and five and a third. Um, and that's really the kind of the story of that game is how efficient the Washington pitchers were able to be. And the defense was very good for them and um, was able to really, you know, keep those Texas bats a day, you know, and then 
coming into Saturday, um, we're wondering kind of who might get the start for Texas. You know, it ends up being uh, Cody Howard, and you know he struggled kind of right out of the gate. He gives up. He's got two hit by pitches. He ends, he ends the day getting up two hit by pitches, two walks, only two strikeouts. He only goes two innings. Gives up five earned runs, um, and just is was not good. I mean, fifty two pitches in those two innings. Uh, but then Ace Whitehead, you know, comes in and really settles the game in, um, and ends up going the rest of the game. And he was, I mean, he was awesome. He completely shut down that uh, that Washington offense. Uh, you know, they were uh, they were hot. You know, coming in from the day before, and I mean, the Washington offense jumped all over um, Cody Howard to begin. You know, and then they put him a three spot in the first inning two more in the third inning, uh, but they, but like I said, Ace Whitehead shuts them down. They don't score again. I mean, they only get one hit off of Whitehead. Um, in Texas, they're kind of chipping away. You know, they get one in the third, one in the fourth, one in the sixth, but, um, you know, the Washington pitcher, uh, Sam Boyle, you know, he he comes in in the uh, seventh inning, ends up finishing the game, and is really, really shuts down. He ends up with four strikeouts in those three innings. Only he's able to scatter three hits, no walks. That's the biggest thing when you look at this Washington pitching staff from the weekend is the few walks. I mean, they gave up four walks on Friday, but no walks on Saturday. And even on Sunday, uh, you know, in their loss, um, on their loss, they did give up several walks. They gave up seven walks in their loss. But Saturday, that's the big thing, right? They were able to limit the walks, mix their pitches, you know, this isn't a pitching staff that's going to blow you away and it's going to strike out a ton of guys, uh, but it's very efficient. And that's, you know, that's what they really were able to ride that to another victory on Saturday. They kind of held on at the end. You know, Texas was able to get some guys on base, but just not able to get the run across, you know, to uh, to take that game. You know, I kind of, I, you know, just it felt like, Texas kept chipping away and chipping away, and they had some guys on in the eighth and in the ninth inning, and just they just couldn't get the run across. And you know, I kept feeling like they were gonna, but it just never happened for them. Um, you know, and credit to Coach Kelly's pitching staff. Uh, you know, they again only used the two pitchers on Saturday. Uh, you know, Calvin Kirchhoff, he was magnificent for them uh, in the start. He ends up going six innings, getting six Ks, no walks, um, gives up the three runs, but only four hits. Uh, and it was really efficient too. Only 86 pitches in those six innings. Um, you know, mixing his pitch as well. A lot of fly ball outs. You know, the wind was kind of blowing in that day, uh, so it was difficult to get the ball out. Uh, but you know, somehow uh, AJ Guerrero ends up getting the big, uh, the big uh, fly for them going yard for his first of the season. Uh, and you know, Ibarra kept up his keeps up his. Big day. He ends up going one for two, uh, you know, with an RBI, but he gets a walk in there. Uh, you know, there were only four hits for uh, for Washington on the day, but you know, the the walks, uh, you know, those were kind of the killer for, or um, well, the walks and the hit by pitch were the killer for Texas. You know, in, the, in those early innings before Whitehead was able to come in and and settle things down. Um, you know, I think. I think Texas may have found something in Whitehead. You know, he gave them starter type length, but you know, the big question is what do you do with Whitehead going forward? Do you want to keep him in the pen? So you have a reliable arm in the pen, or do you move him to the starting rotation? You know, that was something that we asked coach Pierce about at the end of the game. And, you know, he just kind of said that, you know, ACE is a, is a competitor and he absolutely is. You could see that on the mound and that, you know, but you, um, he's able to fill a lot of roles for them. So we'll see what Coach Pierce decides to do with him moving forward. But he s- looks like he could be a weekend arm for them, you know, a weekend starter. But you never know. Maybe you want to keep him in the pen just so you have a reliable, you know, arm to go to in the pen. Um, and then on Sunday, man, I wasn't sure they're going to get this game in on Sunday. The weather was uh, not looking good. We end up having a long uh, delay to start the game. And this was kind of a sloppy game, kind of for both teams. Um, Texas ends up with the game with, you know, getting committing four errors on the day. And Washington didn't have any errors on the day, but um, it's still, it was not a, uh, it was not a crisp game uh, by any stretch of the imagination. But Texas is able to take advantage early. 
uh, of the starter, uh, Desart, Spencer Desart, uh, for Washington. You know, he ends up go, he ends up giving up four walks, uh, you know, three earned runs, end up crossing the plate. Uh, you know, Isaac Yeager comes in, he ends up giving another earned run and two more walks. Um, you know, Max Grubbs gets the start for Texas, uh, and he's really efficient. I mean, he goes six innings. He gives up five hits, but he's able to kind of scatter them. Only one run across, only two strikeouts, but a ton of ground outs. Just a ton of ground ball outs. Um, he ends up getting 10 ground outs. And Duplani and then uh, Selvig and Duplanier, you know, finish the game out. This game only ends up going eight innings because of uh, Washington's kind of travel restrictions. But, you know, um, four to three final uh, in Washington and Texas ends up coming away and preventing the, uh, the series sweep, but man, it's, it's a troubling series for Texas. You know, we'll see how, where they go from here. You know, last night they end up uh, walking off air force in the 10th inning. Um, but you know, I, I, Texas is not ranked in our current most recent poll, you know, and it, it's kind of panic time for that Texas bullpen. You're, they gotta they gotta figure out something. Some guys gotta step up. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it kind of is what it is at this point. It's not like you're bringing another. You know, you can't make a trade, bring in a free agent, bring in a transfer portal guy, nothing like that. So they gotta they gotta figure it out. Um, and these bats, you know, gotta be able to carry this team. Uh, but you know, Texas is a team that always seems to figure it out at the end of the season and always be, you know, in the thick of it at the end of the season. So we'll we'll keep watching them, see what happens. Uh, but uh, stay tuned for more Texas baseball coverage.